Hi, it's Darren from Martin Deerline Product Support. Today I'm going to talk about pres tank pressurization on a 1910 Air Power 2 cart. Uh, on the Air Power 2 cart, one of the nice things about it is it's got separate adjustments for each tank for your pressurization. Uh, it's a nice feature for when you're, for instance, putting down canola, uh, you can adjust your tank pressurization down for the canola. Uh, with the single fan, it's more of a pain because you got to get that plenum adjusted just right to get the proper pressurization much nicer on the Air Power 2. Plus on the Air Power 2, of course, you do have two fans, so you can run that second fan for your, for your product at a slower speed. So what you're doing with this, if you look at this, this is the center tank here. They've got the indicators on there so you know which is which is which tank but basically I mean looking at the three levers of course it's quite easy to see as well we have a tank pressurization gauge for each tank as well so you'll notice that there's a there's a, a fan up here and a, and a picture of the fan down here of course if you're top shooting you're adjusting with the arrow from up to here if you're bottom shooting of course you're adjusting down into here and that's the, your middle off position right so what you'd be doing is you'd be throttling it with the fan running we don't have the fan running on the machine right now because of the noise that it would make for us to be doing it during the video and you wouldn't be able to hear us so the, let's picture that the fan is running and we're pressurizing and what we want to do with 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 canola is you're going to adjust for the low, lower level of pressurization so we're not blowing the canola away from the roller with too much pressurization uh, and then you make that adjustment, get it where you want, and it follows. On these new machines as well, that does follow up to the cab onto the onto the actual monitor that you can actually monitor that right from the cab as well while you're working. A uh, few things with tank pressurization as well. Uh, we do have the hoses that monitor. There's one here and there's one on the other side of the monitor. If these hoses become plugged, uh, that's where you'll end up with a gauge problem sometimes. So then you're at the point, do I have a gauge problem or do I have, a, do I have an actual pressurization problem? Uh, if you have the pressurization problem, a true one, you're not going to see it accurately. Uh, so of course that throws up the flags and then you got to stop. So when a guy's looking at that, uh, basically if you determine uh, that you're figuring you've got a plugged line, uh, and that's what the problem is and that would be inside the tank so if your tank is full you know the drill how do you get to that other than dropping dropping the product out what i recommend you do in the case like that is you go up the ladder with the fan running and you take that tank lid loose out of the home position and just hold your hand against it if that tank is pressurizing uh, around that big lid she'll percolate basically it'll kind of just percolate and then you know you are actually pressurizing so you have a you have an actual indicator problem not an actual true pressurization problem so then you can seed the rest of the tank out and then go inside and fix it uh, that's probably some of the best information I can give you on tank pressurization